Welcome everyone. In this series of tutorials we're going to create an, uh, a face in Python and then we're going to animate parts of it. So let's go ahead and get started by putting in our class information. So we're going to do pound file name and we're going to call this animated alien dot py. Go ahead and put in your name. So pound name I want to put in my name, you put in yours, so that the teacher knows who the assignment's from. I'm going to put in the class, which is CS Intro, and the assignment topics, which are um, geometric shapes, loops. and random behavior. Then we're going to go ahead and import the Miro graphics library. So from Miro import asterisk. And then let's go ahead and save it right away. So file, save. Then you want to navigate to your drive on the school network and go to the folder for your period and then go to the folder for the project and this is related to project one which is our Python face and we're going to type in the same file name remember that the file name up here at the top in our um, IDE must match our file name so we're going to type in animated alien and don't forget the .py for Python alright so the, in the first step then we need to create a graphics window so we're just going to say win for window is equal to graph win and then we're going to name it so animated alien and then we're going to make our canvas 400 by 400 so it's easy to figure out where things go and we give ourselves enough space to draw on. So then we're going to do win.setBackground and we're going to set a color. Instead of using the text for the color or color names, we're going to actually use RGB values in this assignment. And so we're going to use color underscore RGB. And then RGB works on red, green, and blue values up to from 0 to 255 so you can pick a color you can find these colors on Google if you search for them I'm gonna do try something like 220 130 and 210 which means I have predominantly red and blue and then we need to make sure we have two parentheses at the end okay so let's go ahead and run it to see what kind of color we're gonna get if we need to save it it'll ask us to save it and it'll overwrite our previously saved program and let's give it a second to come up and notice I've got a predominantly kind of pink background so if you're not satisfied with that color you can go back to your code and we can add, let's um, de maybe decrease some of the red. So let's do 120 and then rerun it so it's more predominantly blue. Okay, so I'm going to stick with my blue color. And you can go ahead and exit out of this for now. Um, so let's put in a comment so that someone coming behind us like your teacher knows what each section of the code is going to do. We want to put in um, a comment for each section so we're going to put in pound import the needed libraries in this section. This one draws the window Okay, 
And then the first thing we're going to do for the face is draw the outer face. It's always a good idea to start with the larger objects first, the ones that would be, and also work with the ones that would be in the background and work to the smaller objects that would be drawn last or more on the front end. Okay, so we need a center point for our face, so we're going to do CP is equal to point, and since our canvas is 400 by 400, the center point should be 200 by 200. And then we're just going to call this um, a face or alien face. Remember, it's a common way to name things is to uh, make the first word small and any words after it the first letter capitalized. So we've got A for alien, some lowercase, and capital F in face. And then we're going to just make this guy um, a circle. And we're going to do CP and we're going to make the radius 160. And then we'll go ahead and do face dot a face dot draw and we'll draw it to our canvas which is win and then we'll set the width of the face so a face dot set width and we'll make it five and we'll need to add the outline so we need to do a face dot set outline and we will make it black for now. Maybe you want your alien to be green. Um, so if if you want to use the text, you want to use black. But if we're we're going to use the RGB values for everything in here, so we're going to do color underscore RGB, and then since black is the absence of all colors. Black should be 0, 0, and 0 for each of these values. And then we set the width to 5. And then let's go ahead and run it and make sure we have a correct shape. So there we go. Now if you wanted to make your alien a little less round, then instead of a circle, we can try to draw an oval. So we're going to add a comment here. It says draws a circle for the face. And then we're going to add another version of this, draws an oval for the face. And then again, we're just going to copy this and we'll just edit it to do an oval instead of a circle. So I'm going to hit Control C and Control V to paste. Now an oval takes two points and instead of a center point and a radius. So we're going to make this point 0.1 and point 0.2. And then an oval works on a bounding box using the upper left corner of the oval and the upper right and the bottom right. So we need to change this because this is using it as a center point. So we mostly want our first point to be up in this area. So maybe 50-50 for the first point. And then let's for our second joint we're going to try 350 and 350. And then instead of circle, we're going to use the function oval. And then in here, we're going to do P1 and P2. And we'll keep the rest of this the same for now. So let's go ahead and draw it. We'll have two things on our canvas, a circle and an oval. So notice that I guess my oval is pretty much circular so we need to change it and so let's change it to um, in other words
words, we want it to be longer than wider. So we're going to change the width here to 200 and leave the height as it is. So let's go ahead and run and redraw. And now we can see that it's too skinny. So in order to make it wider, I'm sorry, I did 200 instead of 250, that's why. So let's go ahead and rerun it. So there's our oval face. And it's still a little skinny. So instead of from 250, let's go from to 250. And drawing, drawing this stuff is basically um, a lot of trial and error unless you want to um, print out print grid on top of it. Okay, so for my alien, I'm going to choose the oval. So what I want to do is I can comment out the circle. Coming out a block of code is three quotation marks for the code and three quotation marks after the code. And we want to save any code that's working until the end and I get our final version and then we can delete whatever we don't want. Um, I also think that my face needs to be a little bit wider so I'm going to try um, starting my face at 80. That will move it over 30 pixels and then I'm going to make it a little bit wider so I'm going to do 310 and go ahead and run it again. So now you can see my oval is pretty much in the center. And before we get to drawing any of the other subject areas, I'm going to quit for now and I will see you in part two of this tutorial.